Hello, we're Lingo. I'm Karen. I'm Cleaver. I'm Sarah. My name's Joe. Welcome to Dyswipe World. And in this video, I've got an amazing interview with a band called Wyvern Lingo. And they sing this amazing blue, jazzy, but really, really soulful style to them. I first saw them at the Great Escape Music Festival last year in Brighton. Then I saw them again in the Eurosonic Music Festival earlier this year. Thankfully, they had some time to do an interview. And I must admit, it's possibly one of my most fun interviews. It's just Oh, so fun. Such a lovely bunch of girls, really talented, definitely worth checking out. And so without further ado, check out some clips from them. They want a story to fly the flag of the old cliche. A public glory, Burton and Taylor made. We met when we were 12. Ish. Yeah, I think we became friends because we were all really interested in the same types of music. And we all could sing, which makes you stand out when you're that age. And I started to play guitar. I was playing piano and Cleva was about to play, just started, just started playing drums. I just bought a drum kit with my confirmation money. Yeah. Go, we did different things. And then two years ago, we got the chance to go full time. We met our lovely manager, John. And he, uh, he changed things for us. And he started working very hard. And here we are now. I suppose we all grew up with like classic rock. Our, our parents' music pop. collection would yeah. have been like mm -hmm. classic rock. You know, all, our, all of our parents were the same age, so they all of our houses are full of CDs of you know Bob Dylan, Led Zeppelin, Queen, Thin Lizzy. So, yeah, but then we were '90s babies. Yeah, TLC and En Vogue. Those are kind of our, our bread and butter, our two kind of pillars. And then you know we also love jazz and alt rock, and Sarah loves metal. And like you know, there's a big mix in there. Yeah, Sarah yeah. loves metal, don't you? <laughs> What am I listening to at the moment is very like alt rocky R and B, kind of like alt J, but yeah. not alt J. I've been in a bit of a phase of listening to Sid Arthur, who are a prog yeah. rock band. I dream. discovered it way too late. You well, really did, because they were so like annoying. two years ago. I think one of them is Kate Bush's <laughs> nephew. nephew. You're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah I was yeah, actually because in another band that I've been listening to, who are friends of ours, New Seeker Weapon, who are another prog rock band. I was in his house wrapping my drum kit with him and uh, and he was showing me Sid Arthur and I was like, these are class! Yeah, I would say, uh, I'd be a massive blues fan, so I would listen to like, I love like Peter Green's Fleetwood Mac, Roy Gallagher, um, like all really old blues singers. I would really like a lot of my new songwriters, so some more other folky stuff. Uh, Carl King, I'm actually having a big Carl King revival at the moment. Mm. Nice. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, we do. Yeah. And actually one time, one time uh, our, our crew were kind of like, oh, what did we play? while before we were on stage so I think they just chose a, a playlist that Saoirse had made for the van and Saoirse was like oh my god oh my god because there's everything from like Ariana Grande to like System of a Down you know it's like people listen to that playlist like what the hell is going on here like, it's great it's great playlist it's great playlist I really enjoyed Youth tonight because uh, the venue was so nice it's a very personal song it's about not selling yourself short I suppose I took a lot of the lyrics I referenced um I'm a really big WB8 fan and read, read his poetry all the time. A lot of the lyrics make allusion to one of his poems. Um, so there's very much like a story there. I enjoyed Snow just because um, I get to like come out from behind the kit and it's just a nice change in dynamic. You know, in, in these kind of festival shows, you don't often get to do that sort of thing. So it's nice tonight was a little bit of a longer set. And uh, it's really like dramatic. It's really good when you're in a bad mood. Like, you know, it's the ultimate like, I don't want to talk to anybody. But then it's a, so it's a song responding to that of like the actual reality of someone locking themselves away and how sad that is for people who, who care about them. Trying to get in. Just trying to get in. My favourite song playing tonight was probably Beast Dead Though. Just kind of get to let rip a little bit on the guitar. Oh wow. It's been, there's been a lot. Yeah. There's last, a lot the last of 12 months, months have been, been classic. Yeah, yeah. Really, really good. This time last year we were in, um, we were on tour with Hosier in the UK. Um, yeah. We supported Hyannis Coyote. We did support, we supported Hyannis Coyote, White Denim. White Denim. James Vincent McMurrow. Yeah. We got to, to we've been in, we got to tour the UK three times this year. We did The Great Escape. Great Escape was actually one of my highlights. I yeah, really enjoyed that. It was really yeah. fun. The summer was great. We played lots of great festivals in Ireland as well. And yeah. we won this lovely award about two months ago, which was... Our first ever award? Yeah. 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 Ever. We won Best Singer. We did your Oh yeah, that's true. We did a lot. We did, did a lot. lot. What a year. Fucking hell. Yeah. But the last two, three months particularly, I felt were really good. Yeah. We're really excited for the next couple of months. We're going yeah. to Sweden. We're going to Hamburg on Saturday and Sweden on in February. So And then we're, we're going to the studio. studio. 
to record our album. Yeah, because yeah. yeah. there's a schedule. Be grand. grand. It's going to be grand. Be yeah. Be great. Yeah. Be grand. Yeah. Be grand. Yeah. Wonderful. Okay. Yeah. Well. <laughs> and that was Wyvern Lingo. I think he definitely can agree. Such a fun interview. If you want to learn more about them, you should check out some of the links in the description here. The music festival they were at was actually Eurosonic that I met them. Also created a short video about my whole Eurosonic experience. You should definitely check them out. If you're interested in videos on travel, more music bands and possibly stuff around London, you should definitely subscribe to my channel, uh, like my video, and I would like to love to hear from like any comments that you guys have. And I will guess I'll see you in the next video. Laters, bye. Okay. Jelly. Jolly, 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 I made it.